Welcome back, welcome back to it. Your feel-good breakfast show live, large and in charge. It's a Tuesday morning. Happy Tuesday, travel Tuesdayers, <laughs> health for Tuesdayers. Choosing. Thanks for choosing, choosing Tuesday. Tuesday with us. <laughs> It's going to be a good one. Listen, uh, let's update you quickly on some of the latest stories we found uh, okay. concerning technology. There's a new electric toothbrush out. Cool. Truth, toothbrush. It's a <laughs> truth. Tooth tell you the truth. <laughs> That's been launched. It's cost, it costs a whopping $220 US. Sure, okay. What okay. does it do? Two and a half grand? Yeah. yeah. That's no, more, more, than, more like three and a half. Three oh, my word. So wow, why it's okay. so expensive? Expensive. It uses AI. Expensive. <laughs> it uses AI to tell you when you're brushing poorly. And this toothbrush connects to an app on your phone um, over Bluetooth. And then so when, you, when you start brushing, the sure. app will show you a timer, showing you how long you've been brushing and guide you as to where you should brush next. So supposedly wow. it's a lot like going on, eh? map of your mouth. Wow. Okay. So it uses sensors to know exactly when you're applying too much pressure or not brushing uh, long enough in a certain spot. And then sure. it sends that data over to the sensors in the app. So then the app takes the sensor data and uses the genius XAI algorithm to tell you where you then need to brush better and give a rating on how, or gives you a rating on how you've brushed. Wow. So that's, that's crazy. Well, I mean, it makes that's sense. That's cool, man. You've got to keep your teeth for justified, life. justified yeah. then. It makes, it makes total sense. Really? But then you, how often do you have really? to change this toothbrush is the question. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, look, I, I, don't, I don't know if, if I'd like that feature on a toothbrush essentially because it's, it's, it's supposed to be a two minute process where yeah, you, you just, yeah. just try, spend, just you know, try you're harder, 30 yeah. seconds, 30 yeah. seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, but look, I mean, that being said, your teeth are your, your one of your greatest investments. You know? You've got to keep them for whole life. You want to yeah. look after And you're it. not going to get others. If these ones go bad, you must just know <laughs> that's it, RIP. Apparently also, this is not the company's first connected toothbrush. They released the Bluetooth enabled toothbrush way back in 2014, which could be programmed with the help of a dentist. And then it launched its sure. genius line of toothbrushes in 2016, but then earlier models needed to use uh, your smartphone's camera to allow wow. you to follow your brushing. So you'd be like, I want to be yeah. seeing it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, it, it does feel like a lot yeah. of effort for, for brushing your teeth, yeah. like you say, for something that should be relatively simple. But hey, man, all, all for dental health. It's because cool. it's for people who like who love to indulge in brushing their teeth and take their time and they enjoy that. So you're going to say you like to just express the morning, their wealth with the but do you, do you But do you, st even if you're an indulgent brusher, do you need an <laughs> app to tell you I that mean... you're not brushing long enough in your back moments? Uh, really? I think it's cool, man. Just all towards a smart home. Everything yeah. is smarter. These, awesome. these guys are the Tesla. smart toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> that tells without the cameras, right? Yeah, there we go. No, 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 no. The earlier models the have camera. to have the cameras. <laughs> the earlier models have to use the These guys are the, the Tesla of Oh, difference. man, well now, um, you've made it almost impossible for me to, to segue into the next, <laughs> into the next cool it. story that we've got, but I'm going to try. So um, most of the alternative meats that we eat nowadays, okay, we've explored some pretty interesting kind of variations here, including products like Impossible burger actually plant-based okay so a lot of them will also be made out of soy that sort of thing a number of startups are still working on ethical meat that's grown from actual animal cells giving you a real burger without obviously the cruelty element or climate change issues we know how much um, right. you know sort of just petrol for instance is being used transporting meats and grains so um, they can be a little bit mushy because they lack the collagen that is present in real muscle tissue that gives meat its structure. So there's no uh, way to really create okay. steaks, you know, which are quite fibrous. So now a Harvard University researcher, a group of them have found a way to simulate real meat by growing cow and rabbit muscle cells on a little mini scaffolding that they've yeah. created out of gelatin. Wow. So they create the little scaffolding, the network, and then they let the meat go through that. So the scaffold is made from the collagen extracted from the skin, bones, and connective tissues of domesticated animals. And it's not only edible, but closely mimics the way in which collagen adds a succulent texture to meat when it's been cooked. But then you've got to let it rest. I cooked a steak last night, you've got to let it rest. And then it <laughs> wow. gets relaxed and chilled. So the results are promising, but um, as with lab-grown burgers, you're not likely to see alternative steaks on your plate anytime soon, unless you are a scientist. So scientists and bioengineers still need to figure out how to grow them at a scale in uh, bioretractive facilities to keep up with the expected demand. So, I mean, you know, so at very, the moment they're making like miniature little steaks. There's a very simple solution to what these guys are doing. Um, and I don't know if they've tried it in their scientific research while they're trying what to. What is it? We, we should all just maybe eat less meat. 
Okay. Like in the I week? Know. I like the idea Child of being able to order die. bounce. Like I want cut a down. three kilogram dinosaur steak and just being able to replicate yeah. that. I don't I know. I really think we should eat less meat. And then think how much additional work your electric toothbrush sensor and AI are going to do to getting all the meat particles yeah, out of your Yeah, the idea of eating tank. less meat seems to terrify you're gonna tell your, Yeah, you're I'm, gonna, I'm not sure very much. Uh, about what about strong that African how much man? less meat? <laughs> <wants to eat laughs> meat man. Is it like cutting out Saturday? I don't know. Yeah. It, it does feel Fire like a long place. way around. Dion Wired, where humans go for technology.